Combo one is pata chuggy and rear leg round kick. A lot of times when kids do that combo, they think that it's only one technique, but a pata chuggy is a defensive move where someone's trying to hit you and you jump back just enough for them to miss by about an inch and immediately use your back leg to throw a round kick. Then as soon as that round kick lands in the front, take your back leg and throw another round kick that's similar but with the other leg. So when we talk about a rear leg round kick, you have to understand that it depends on which leg is in the front. So if I'm in my left foot in front fighting stance, then my back leg's the right. If I switch my feet, then the new back leg is my left. So a pata chuggy and rear leg round kick would be jump back, kick with your back leg, land in the front, kick with your back leg, land in the front. Always remember on this combo, kick with your back leg. The next combo we're gonna do is up ball number one and pata chuggy. Up ball number one, out of the three different up balls that I'm gonna teach, it's actually the most simple one. All you do is lift up your front leg, pivot your foot and turn your knee over and throw a strong round kick that goes horizontal. Then that kick lands in the front. Immediately you have to imagine that your attacker is trying to hit you. So they'll throw any type of kick or charge towards you and you jump back. That's the beginning of the pata chuggy. You don't switch your feet or anything when you jump back. You actually just jump back, shift back a little bit and then use your back leg to throw a round kick. Of course, when you're kicking with your back leg, you gotta pivot all the way around and throw a strong kick and land it in the front. So up ball number one is a neutral kick. If you were a pad holder, you would hold the pad in one spot. And you can see in the video that I actually kicked that exact same spot for both techniques. Combo number three is one of my favorites. You throw a rear leg round kick. Now we always start with the left foot in front when we're first learning these uh, combos, but the rear leg round kick will actually be with your right it's gonna come forward and attack your opponent and then it lands in the front. Then you have to imagine that your opponent blocked it or maybe if you hit them in their stomach, they were too late but they still put their arm down and defend themselves. So that's why you throw the up ball with the exact same leg to a different target area. So this one works really good if you do a rear leg round kick and you aim at the body level, like maybe right here at the solar plexus and as soon as your foot's the ground, you bounce it back up and aim right for their head. 